<laughs> yeah, that's what I like that's to call a it. great way yeah. of putting yeah. it. You could put you could put it that way. So we had the severe storms uh, on Monday. Had some showers and storms yesterday. Had the potential for a little bit of flooding too, with uh, some of the heavier rain that we saw develop. Today is a completely different story. Nice and calm. Clear and warm. Numbers in the low 50s, though, pretty comfortable out there. Humidity still on the higher side of things, but still, it's nicer than what we had to deal with the last few days with temperatures in the 60s for morning lows. We'll take the 50s for sure. Low 50s and middle 50s to our north. Most spots down to our south are in the upper 50s. 59 right now in Alabaster, 58 in Moundville, 59 now in Clanton. So, over the next couple of days, things will be rather calm. Wednesday into Thursday, not a whole lot to look at. We'll see southerly winds develop later on today. That will help warm us up a bit. And with all the sunshine around, a pretty uh, atypical day for April. We should see temperatures in the 70s for highs. We're going to see 80s for afternoon highs for today. By Thursday, more clouds increase. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of rainfall, but clouds will definitely be part of the forecast by Thursday. And then by Friday, things really start to break down. Shower and thunderstorm chances going way up. So today we're in the 80s. Tomorrow we're also in the 80s with a few more spots because of the cloud cover in the upper 70s. Then Friday, showers and thunderstorms will be more scattered around. The weekend ahead for the Deep South is going to be a very active one. A big storm system takes shape. This is going to be something we watch very carefully here over the next several days. Saturday afternoon, Folks west of us near the Mississippi River hold a pretty good chance to see some strong to severe storms. Right now, it looks like the bullseye would be northern Louisiana into Arkansas and par parts of Mississippi. As this cold front and uh, big storm system moves across the deep south, our Big chance of severe storms would be on Sunday. Looks like Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon would be the time frame for these severe storms. What are we talking about? Well, all modes would be uh, on play. We're talking about tornadoes, large uh, damaging hail, and also damaging wind gusts, too. Everything moves out of here by Monday. So the highest potential on Saturday will be way to our west. However, it looks like parts of West Alabama could see a severe storm or two very early in the morning on Sunday. And then Sunday afternoon, it looks like that severe potential moves through the rest of Alabama into Georgia. So we're going to watch this very carefully here over the next couple of days, by the time we get to Friday, we'll know pretty much what's going to happen by the weekend. So lots of sunshine warming up, numbers in the low 80s and mid 80s for afternoon highs, mostly clear and milder for tonight, lows in the low 60s. A sunny day until we get to some clouds later in the afternoon on Thursday, then scattered showers and storms on Friday, a very active weather weekend, more storms Saturday, and a weather aware day already on Sunday. We want everyone to be ready, but then nicer days Monday and Tuesday of next week, guys.